Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Jared Beckwith, I'm an EEG technologist and guess where I'm at guys? I'm at the Asset Conference 2021. My first time at the Asset Conference. Look at the hotel, it's beautiful. So one of the talks I saw today was by Dr. William Bossel and he was talking about the differences in accuracy of EEG annotation. For example, if we're annotating seizures, let's say maybe a experienced epileptologist will have a 95% accuracy rating while a new EEG technologist not a doctor or anything just a new student in training might have a 60% accuracy rate at labeling seizures well in dr. William Bossel's talk he was explaining the concept of Condorcet's jury theorem that's something I'd never heard before and Condorcet's jury theorem pretty much says that the wisdom of the crowd precedes a single expert so Let's say, for example, those very new EEG technologists, if you got over a hundred of them together and had them all vote, you could achieve a higher accuracy than a single epileptologist. So if you took EEG technologists who are more experienced, let's say they had an 80% accuracy rate, if you got nine of those EEG technologists who are 80% accurate, you will reach 98% accuracy even better than a single epileptologist who's let's say only 95% accurate. Now this concept is so interesting to me because I'm interested in artificial intelligence on EEG signals and to do that you need labeled training data, lab accurately labeled seizures to feed the algorithm in order to tune your parameters and update it and make sure it's accurate, accurately detecting seizures. And in order to do that, you can't be feeding it wrong information. You can't be giving it wrong training data. So even if you had a single epileptologist labeling training data, you're still gonna have mistakes. But if you could kind of crowdsource this EEG data annotation labeling seizures, let's say if you could get nine or 10 EEG technologists who are 80% accurate to label a seizure, determine whether it's a seizure or not, it could actually be more accurate than just a single epileptologist. And this reminded me of Professor Andrew Ng's AI lab at Stanford. One of his students did a project on EKG annotations. Now that's very similar to EEG, which made me pay attention. So in Andrew Ng's Stanford lab, they found that there was a big difference between a very new cardiologist labeling EKG data and an experienced cardiologist did a little bit better and even better than an experienced cardiologist is a group, a team of experienced ca cardiologists debating and seeing what they come to a consensus on. So, but the problem with this is if you relate it to EEG data and you want to have, in best case scenario, have a team of epileptologists label the seizures that go into the artificial intelligence algorithm, that would be best case scenario, but the problem is you need thousands and thousands of labeled seizures and you can't have multiple epileptologists going through thousands and thousands uh, their time is way too valuable it's impossible so what I took away from dr. William Bossel's talk on Condorcet's jury theorem is that we don't necessarily have to have multiple epileptologists labeling the training data for an artificial intelligent algorithm we could actually crowdsource it by EEG technologists and still get better than a single epileptologist. So the data he showed says it needs about, you need about nine EEG technologists collaborating who are about 80% accurate to do better than a single epileptologist on labeling seizures. So I'm thinking if there's a way to crowdsource and get accurate data, accurate labeled seizures, crowdsourced with many EEG technologists, we could be able to create a artificial intelligence algorithm that labels seizures, detects seizures at a very high rate, better than an actual epileptologist. So if your training data is labeled by a single neurologist, it's very highly unlikely unless something crazy happens. You're pretty much never going to outperform, outperform a single neurologist if a single neurologist is labeling your training data. So if we can't have multiple epileptologists labeling the training data for an artificial neural network, maybe we can have many EEG technologists collaborating applying what Dr. William Bossel was talking about, Condorcet's jury theorem, the crowd of EEG technologists is actually more accurate than a single epileptologist. And EEG technologists are easier to come by than 
very expensive epileptologist. So that might be the only way that we can create an artificial neural network that can outperform a single neurologist. If you guys have used uh, artificial intelligence for seizure detection and spike detection, it's not as good as an epileptologist. And the reason for that is that the training data is likely labeled by just a single epileptologist. And you're pretty much never gonna outperform that because the, there's gonna be errors in the training data that the neurologist is unwittingly gonna add and feed to the algorithm. So the training data has to be better than a single neurologist. And the only way to do that that I found now, which this new idea I got from this conference, the asset conference, is Dr. William Bossel's concept of Condorcet's jury theorem. I've never heard of that theorem before, and it makes a lot of sense. If you get 10 EEG technologists, it's possible that they can come to a consensus and outperform a single epileptologist. And that is how we're gonna get the training data to build a seizure detection algorithm that outperforms a neurologist. That's pretty much it guys. If you haven't seen me yet here and you're at the ASSET conference, come say hi to me. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video, if you're enjoying your time at the ASSET conference. And if you can't come here, at least I gave you some type of information or at least this interesting talk, I was able to share the main concepts from it with you guys. So connect with me. I'd love to say hi to you guys if I haven't already. So many people have come up to me and I'm making lots of great friends here at the conference. That's what I really wanted, right? People who read EEG to be friends with me because we are a unique bunch, guys. So I will see you all on the next video. This is my first day at the Asset Conference 2021.